I am so sad, disappointed, and I don't know what to say. If you just search Linux Iceberg, I think there is there is no section i can find here even in ubuntu communities if i go to ubuntu communities i don't think i have to tell anybody that you should use ad blocker you should not see ads the only place where i see these kind of things where people say we should see more ads we should not skip ads so we can support our favorite content creator or i see ads because right now i cannot pay my favorite content creator so you know like these kind of things I, i'm not even like um, close to those communities i i have never seen a person saying something like this in past four years i believe okay every person i know have this much sense but on my channel can you believe it like on my channel i got a comment which just disappointed me so badly it's not just a comment which disappointed me because you know people are so you you can call them dumb innocent or whatever uh lack of common sense but the thing which hurted me more is like it the, he tried to accuse me in this comment so i just want to make this clear so you know because nine people like this comment and people might think that this is who bucks writer is no this is not who bucks writer is okay so let me just read this and then after this i'm going to tell you that why his logics are facile and why you should not see ad he commented on this video where i showed that how you can visit any web page without looking at ads or any cookie any distraction he commented and he mimicked me oh my god i'm just trying to view an article on the internet why are they trying to monetize their work they should work for me free meanwhile let me upload videos on youtube so i can make some bucks of my work okay so he accused me that you know i'm telling people that you should not see ads while reading article but i'm also telling them ways so they can read anyone's article without looking at any ad people who write those ads get some revenue out of, uh, for them basically uh, i'm trying to cut their income but i'm earning money from youtube by showing you ads okay so this is the first accusation and you know so i replied i replied because i got hurt with this and i'm like donation is a different thing so in this video i promoted my patreon first time so i made patreon account and i'm like you guys can go and uh, you know just donate to my patreon and this is the first time i did this okay second time i guess right so previously i made a patreon account like six months ago i deleted whatever so i replied donation is a different thing ads is a different thing especially those ads are google targeted i made more than so after this you know i just told them like i always make videos for free and i never try to gain like any money from it because i believe like whatever i do is out of hobby fun and i'm already getting a lot from this channel and not i don't see you know value in only in terms of money okay so after that he replied so this is really funny this is really funny okay? i did not poke into donation aspect okay so i was like so in my world i totally forgot that people do youtube so they can get ad revenue i mean I, I only watch Linux channels most of the time. So I totally forgot that people actually earn money from ad revenue. So he said, like, I did not poke into the donation aspect. There is nothing wrong with asking for donations. Now, this line is important. There is nothing uh, wrong with asking for donation. What's wrong is monetizing your own YouTube page with ads and viewing others content for free by using neat tools to remove their ads on their from their website. That's just stealing revenue from others people masquerading as a love of minimal website. So PS, okay, so this is bullshit. So basically he tried to say that, uh, you know, I didn't make this video out of love of minimal web. I try to steal their revenue, okay? So because I hate every fucking person who write articles out there. I replied, and this reply is very important. I want you to know this. I don't want you to hate me because of this. Bugs writer is a, not a sellout, okay? So you can see here. I never, never, okay. This is a, you know, this is a, this is like a screenshot. So you might say it's edited. Uh, should I just show you my actual YouTube or are you convinced? Let me just show you my actual YouTube. Look at all these sellouts, like the every fucking person you see on this page who is running a YouTube channel is just because of hair revenue. And we will, we will touch on that topic. But so I never 
never registered for uh, this stupid YouTube partners program. I totally, I totally forgot about it. I had no idea like this thing exists. I never even visited this page because it was so it's, it's not just because I don't want any money from YouTube. It's also because also, you know, I hate ads, but it's because the process was so much tiring that I, I gave up. I mean, I never even tried. I once tried actually, but uh, I gave up. I thought like, it's just stupid. I am not going to. Also, why will I do it? Everybody who watch my channel use ad blocker. Even I am the one who tell them to use YT local. Even I use YT local. So YT local is also going to cut down the ads. So you can see I never registered. Okay. So Bugstrider is not a sellout. And uh, so let's just move. So I told him like, here, check out my ads income. Never signed up for this stupid partners program. Also, all my videos are community commons license. So some videos get copyright, fair use, strike, like I use music sometimes. And those videos, I cannot, uh, you know, change it into community commons license. But other than that, almost every video is community commons license, which means that you're allowed to share my content, upload it on your channel. If you have your channel, you can upload or share it with anybody. And I believe almost every genuine Linux YouTuber does that who like anyone who, who runs a channel just like me, it means free to use except videos with copyright. Okay. I never earned even a single dollar out of my work. And that is not completely true. Some, you know, previously I opened a Patreon account and somebody paid me like, uh, so in one week I got a little bit money. But other than that, like I bought a mic for this channel and I never got any income and I don't, I'm not trying. Okay. Just because I'm saying this doesn't mean I'm like, go to my Patreon. No, if you want to do it, you can do it, but it's not like, you know, I, okay. How much money you guys can give me? I don't think it's going to like, it's not going to change my life. And I really don't give a shit about money. Okay. So all right, whatever that is a really weird link. So not going to click it. Now, this is also an interesting uh, thing, which we have to read. That is a weird link. So I'm not going to click it. And you know, like why this thing is so interesting. You said that your YouTube does not have ads. So this guy just jumped. Okay. So first. What he did is he tried to poke my donation, I believe, but then he said uh, that, you know, I'm not trying to poke your donation. I was trying to poke your, you know, YouTube ads income. But then what he did is that is really a weird link. So you said that your YouTube does not have ads. You just ask your user to buy a product, your Patreon, where the user is free to decide whether they want to buy it or not that makes it a genuine ad. So what he tried to say here is I suggested people to go to my Patreon and support me there. So he tried to say that this is a genuine ad. Now, to be honest, he's not completely wrong. Okay. You can say that I try to advertise my YouTube page and this is because the the way Patreon work, you the, it have some kind of, you know, beta, sigma, alpha, like I made some packages out there, but those packages are just stupid. It's just a way to just, uh, you know, attract some people so they will donate. All right. And Patreon is like a donation platform, but okay. This thing completely just, you know, all my brain cells got tired. I'm like, dude, okay, let's just read. Yeah. You're not earning money out of partnership program, but you are saving money from YouTube uploads. Now here I'm lost, like what he's trying to say here. You're saving your hosting fees, which YouTube redeems by showing us ads as irrespective of whether your channel is monetized or not. Here's one thing I, I'm going to say now. Okay. Did I ask YouTube to, you know, just give free hosting for it to everybody? All right. Who asked them? Nobody asked YouTube if they are allowing people to just freely use their servers and host videos, then it's not like we, we made a handshake deal where I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch your ads if you do this for us. All right. So who the fuck asks? And this is, this is not just a question for YouTube. This is a question for everybody who write those articles with ads on it. D did I hire you? Who the fuck hired you? All right. There is a video by Chris Ochipinti and he, he made this point and I believe like it's a, it's a really nice point. Yeah. This video. So he, he made this point, like who hired them? So suppose, suppose if there is some public park and somebody just go there and just, you know, just uh, cut down all the gra grass. Okay. And next day you are just walking and, you know, enjoying that, uh, you know, feel of grass. And he came to you and he's like, give me my money because I cut down all these grass. What the fuck? 
I didn't hire you and you can't tell me that I should not now walk on this uh, grass which you you know mow down or cut down whatever so let's move on okay you reason that somehow having ads and patreon are two different things but at the end they are just ways to support creators work this is okay I want to bold this line this is uh, this is just like crazy crazy level here okay ads is not a way to support creators work are you out of your mind ads is just ads ads is not a way if anything ads support is just some corporate product all right also if a youtuber is doing some sponsorship all right if a youtuber just telling people to use linode it's still okay it's still good okay i i believe like it's not good but okay it's still okay but any stupid article out there if you see on google these guys don't choose what ads to display okay traveling trips okay so let's just uh, okay i have you block origin on but these guys don't have any control they just use some third party um, ad services and those people run any stupid ad there are two types of people in this world one who create content who write who make videos who write songs because that's what they love that's what they want to do okay and sometimes they need some kind of money so they use ads as a way to earn money all right but there is there is some second kind of people the amount of the second kind is more than the first kind the second kind is people who just want to get money and this is why they create content all right this is why they produce content they fill entire internet with garbage all right they, they fill with bullshit let me show you those kind of people if you go to youtube open any channel you see on you know okay right now i'm logged in but you know any channel uh by default all right when, when you're not logged in everyone is just producing content because they want to earn money from the ad revenue if there is some way to support co content creator by killing each other then it's okay to kill each other what the fuck all right ads are bad ads are manipulative ads people are using algorithm in ads ads make us consumers ads there are so many things i can say about ads i i, I believe like i also write an article about okay so i get emails okay i get emails where people are like okay on you have a channel can you sell this product but i don't even reply like okay so i i never care about all the I, all these kind of comments so i made this video where i explained like why ads are useless there is no point of having ads but even if there is ads out there the worst thing which you can do is that seeing ads on articles or stuff like that and there are plenty of other reasons which i can give and let me sh let me just prove this point okay so if you search malware ads ads are so if you read some articles re do some research you will realize most ad links which you see ends up installing malware in people so if some person is using ads on their articles to get money then basically what he's doing is he's exposing his readers with some you know anything he don't know these companies these ad companies can you know use some some software like they can ask people to download some software which can basically you know in intrude your privacy and stuff all right and this guy this must okay this guy cannot click on this link but he's okay people clicking on some random links which are out there this is just like okay okay why just this guy there are all plenty of people like this out there who who think like looking at and now you might ask but how do we support creator then if you are enjoying content just throw money on them okay if you're liking that content so much also the thing is internet is wide all right people always get overpaid here so if somebody is producing content for masses so if if somebody open a shop only people who are near to the shop can you know buy the product but on the internet you know he can just he already have so much leverage okay also why are you asking me okay i i don't know like how you're going to earn money just find some way okay why why are you asking me like i'm just telling you that ads is not a way good way for you to earn money and if you're using ads to earn money for your whatever work you're doing then you, you're just being evil you're just being bad okay and okay it's fine if you're selling some product and you genuinely believe it's it's still okay but if you're using all these ad services like google ads or any third-party ads 
then I don't know, like, I mean, it's fine if, if you are okay being evil and if you're earning money, fuck them. Like, th there are people who are idiots, just, you know, fuck them and just earn money. But, you know, I cannot do this. I, I thought about doing this, but I cannot, okay? So you are the one who is going on their website. At least you can do is respect the time they are putting. Did I ask? Did I ask them to put their time? Okay, they, they wrote an article. They put it online. Okay, technically it's totally possible. People people are just using a, you know, people who made uBlock Origin also put their time. Okay, so I'm just respecting their time and I just installed this uBlock Origin and that's it. Like, okay, so I, I can visit their page. The page is open. If they if they are caring so much about their their income then they can just you know make it private their ads private but you know what even that's not pro possible because this is internet if you put anything on internet people are going to make copies and the thing is that this okay now we are moving to this uh, fair use bullshit and copyright bullshit and there are laws and even though these laws are complete completely stupid people come to me and they're like oh this is a law you should respect him it's like if if you throw any law in f on their faces they are like oh this is a law so it have to be you know i mean technically think technically if if there is some movie out there okay there is no way which like right now there is no technology which can stop people from sharing movies all right i i have no idea why people are trying to say like think about the internet if there is no such thing as fair use think about the industries think about the creative work in art and talent and to be honest like the only reason we get so much shit out there on the internet is just because of this bullshit fair use this bullshit advertisement industry business industry and i feel like we could just live in you know just heaven if we if these things don't exist and people who are talented people who and the only thing who, only people who get money out of all these things are just businesses corporation no artists get any money to be honest like the concept of money is also bullshit and and all of this is just because humans are just shit so yeah i just got angry on this guy that's the video thanks for watching